Phil Martino joins us now from the City News 680 Business Center. And Phil, the turmoil in the Middle East is having an impact on the airline industry. Melissa, Air Canada typically flies daily to Tel Aviv from Toronto, but it's making some changes. Canada's largest airline says it's cancelling all direct flights to and from Tel Aviv through the end of October due to the war between Israel and Hamas. Air Canada's suspension extends one that has already been in place since October the 8th. The airline says it will resume flights from Toronto and Montreal when the situation stabilizes. Air Canada says passengers whose trips have been cancelled can choose to get a refund or rebook. Now, the big U.S. airlines, British Airways, Air France and Lufthansa have also suspended flights to Israel. Okay, now higher interest rates appear to be having a big impact on Canada's housing market. Melissa, Canadians are really feeling the pinch. And according to real estate experts, you just don't have as many people in the market right now looking. So the Canadian Real Estate Association is lowering its forecast for home sales and prices this year due to the weakness in Ontario and B.C. The association says it expects about 449,000 residential properties to trade hands via Canadian MLS systems this year. That is, get this, a nearly 10% drop from 20 2022. The national average home price, meantime, is forecast to fall 3.3 percent on you on an annual basis to six hundred eighty thousand six hundred eighty six dollars in 2023. And speaking of interest rates, the housing market, there is a big decision looming for policymakers. It's a big decision. The Bank of Canada governor says the central bank will decide at its next rate meeting whether or not to increase rates further or exercise some patience. I'm sure a lot of people are hoping that's what's going to happen. According to Tiff Macklem, the economy is not heading for any serious recession and he's looking for a clear sign underlying the inflation is easing ahead of a rate decision on October 25th. According to Macklem, while demand in the economy is slowing, core inflation has remained sticky over the last six to eight months. The Bank of Canada held its key interest rate steady last month. All right. Well, thank you so much, Phil. That is Phil Martino in the City News 680 Business Centre.